Hello internet. We're back with Genshin. Playing a bit of games. Last time we uh what did we do last time? Oh we found the pirate treasure. And this week or this time rather. I don't know what we're gonna do. Here we go. Oh, I need to go get my gliding license. So I've been trying to get my gliding license and I've captured the dude. There's a dude that you have to go and capture. And uh, I just did that challenge, so now I need to go and finish my gliding exam. And I always forget that you can't break these boxes. That's really miserable. Said to go to someone to pick it up. Jean, I think. Or Jean. Is it Jean or Jean? Uh, I don't know who they said to go to. Never mind. Let's see what this person says. Am I going to glide in the cathedral? I mean, they're pretty big buildings, right? Hmm. Wow, this is pretty. Look at that. Ooh. Hey. Hello. <laughs> what am I playing at? I've, I've come for my license. Fuck me. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Wow. Snob. <laughs> In any case, all you need to know is that there's no greater honour than being under the protection of the factory. And as for the Archons, well, compared to having a delusion at hand, all those religious beliefs and visions and so on are just child's play. Lovely. You seem nice. Amber! Oi! Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're oh. officially legal now! Yay! Woo! Let's hit the town! I'm not surprised though! <laughs> you are a natural after all! Yeah! And I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship! Oh? Is it like the Olympics? I glide so fast that no one can keep up! It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around... <sighs> it's kind of boring. So is there actually any competition? Whoa, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Nope. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding gliding experience. Thank you. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Okay. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. <laughs> Who's had it revoked how many times already now? <laughs> Yay! Yay! I didn't have to do anything and I got to adventure rank 10. Cool. Is it that Jean? Oh, here's Jean. It's a woman. Seems Man. she's talking to someone. Why have I never paid attention before? Let's let her finish, then go say hi. It's too many characters. <laughs> Can't Which is what her. has brought us to this point in the first place. Uh oh. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. That doesn't sound We can fun. put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the. <gasps> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh. I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions. No? Mm -hmm. I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Doesn't sound very amicable. Oh, you're back. Yep. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. Great. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. Yes. However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Mm -hmm. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Those are very 
Uh, they're not big words, but they're quite difficult for someone to pronounce, so I'm quite surprised Paima managed that. <laughs> Nesnaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Yep, I saw some guys in the cathedral I was just in. Oh, them? They're super famous! Oh, cool. Wait, infamous is more the word. They sound like parties. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. No, he's a dragon. Dragons are cool. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods' power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. Mm-hmm. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. I've done that before. <laughs> that was very dramatic music. Wow. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snezhnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tivat. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. Mm-hmm. Can I go in the door, please? Okay. Oh. Let's try this door. Oh, hey. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. Though, I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They're incredibly ancient texts, not to mention... Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! Mosquito? The impurities in the crystal... It hurts when I get close. Hmm. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. Mm. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. I'm special. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. What's a cutie? Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do <clears throat> not know what to make of it either. I'm a woman of many words. Well, then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Again. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight <gasps> and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Why, thank you very much. Honorary Knight of Favonius? Yeah! We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. <sighs> I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. So what, what's it gonna do? Blow my eyelids open. <laughs> we'll meet back here if you find anything. Okay. Bye! Unexpected encounter! Well, I just have to walk out the door to complete the quest. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Pai, Mom, what are you doing out here? Hi, friend! There's something you didn't tell them. What the? The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. Hmm? Ah, mouse is stopped working. <laughs> So you do remember him! That green guy! He looked just like that guy down there! Maybe that is him. <laughs> See? See? Wait, hold on a minute. That... that 
It's the same guy. <laughs> Let's go. Off we go. After him. After I picked up the pine cones. Let's see. Off we go. That green guy disappeared. Use elemental sight to track him down. Can I do that? Ooh. Ooh. This way. This wall. Did he climb up from here? I mean, why not? <laughs> up we go. <gasps> oh, the this way. Where'd he go? Aha! This way. What? Completed. I ran straight past him. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, he's the harp guy. He said he wasn't going to play me a song. But now he's playing a beautiful song. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the divine Archon still walked the earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child Full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Lone Stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms, a brutal war sprang. Dramatic music. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber. Only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. Musicians. Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Duvalin away. 
Oh yeah, that's a Rollin. Who's that? E mouse, come on, work with me. Huh? Oh right. Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. <laughs> Good day, Outlander. Hey. Seems we meet again. I'm Venti the Bard. Hi, Venti. Three time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. Oh, but you didn't want to play me a song last, last time I came here. So, what do you need from me? Given uh, you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Give me a hop. Of course it's about storm terror! <laughs> storm? Oh, come on. Hey! Cut it with the amnesia act! Alright, show it to him. Oh! Isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified? When? Uh... Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Maybe I can. <laughs> you really do have some wonderful abilities. I'm amazing. <laughs> Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Uh, you're a bard. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Mm, not bad. Miss nice work. Alas, <laughs> I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. <laughs> anyway, even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. Hmm. What can I do? I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. Awesome. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh, you, you don't need me, sorry. Oh? And what plan would that be? We'll just be on our way. Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Hold up. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Okay, bye. Hey, where are you running off to? <laughs> to the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye. See ya. Huh. What do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Well, you're sticking around with me. You know what? <laughs> Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. Hmm. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that huge tree! You know, the gigantic one! You can't miss it! Surely you still remember! Mm, nope. I don't know. Hi, guys! How's it going? <laughs> This looks like a fun conversation. <laughs> Off we go. Come take a Where's this big tree then? Oh, yeah. no, I've never been there before, Paimon. <laughs> Oh, it's a chest. I've already got it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's the statue where you get stuff. Let us worship. Oh, sorry, cannot worship. <laughs> Don't have things. Hi. What you doing? Oh? What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. Hmm. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Barbados? 
Miyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Dvalin? Mm, maybe? Oh, uh, it's because gods... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. Does not everyone that see? Said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. Hello. Uh. Open my eyes! Why is it bigger like that doing out here in such a calm place? Do you think it was going after him? His relationship with the wind seems even You're deeper than little yours. shock. Dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds, nor was it born from his own nature but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? She says some really big words and then she struggles with degradation. The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. Oh no. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. Ashtray. Like a thing that you flick your cigarette into. Ashtray, right? <laughs> Uh, what's an abyss mage? They are from the abyss order, huh? an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. Mm. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. The place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. What? Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Cool. I'm healer. Uh, feels much better. So, how exactly? 
exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Devalin earlier, but was interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Devalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you. Oops. Oh wait. I so to make you. up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. Cool. The Monstat Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Himmel. Oh, what, what now? Let's go get the the holy liar de Himmel. Ah! Come on then. Ah! Ah! We're back. So this holy liar de Hamel is one of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Devalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Yay! Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world. But you can't write a song about me. There's not a single song I do not know. No matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? I thought it was about to say attractive. <laughs> I mean, I was just admiring his hair. That's really cool hair. Uh... So how can we get the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral. Somewhere safe. Underground. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want. Okay. Swishy cloak. Swish, 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 swish. <laughs> Let's go. I've been here before. Hi, buddy. Let me handle this. Okay. Hello there, sister. <laughs> May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo. But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? I need the harp thing. <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help. Mm hmm I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. Oh. Oh, no. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the night's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Wow. Please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Mm. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended. Oh. Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back <laughs> to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait! Aw, <laughs> oh, nice try. Okay! Uh... Well, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even bat an eyelid. <laughs> but I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She well, didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the holy liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. What about my eyelids? <laughs> uh... Okay. Hi, can I have the harp, please? Barbados bless you. Hi. Ah, oh, it's you. The newcomer of the Knights of Favonius, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Mm -hmm. Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. Ah. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. 
There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Lyre. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Ah, when is this? Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and community representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? No. <laughs> <laughs> a signed document is required. Okay. Without it, there's not much I can do. Okay. Baby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. Oh. Nice. You're not in a rush to, to walk off, lady. Okay. Hi. Oh, it didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> You knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. Wow. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Hmm. Today we stand for free will. Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Hmm. Well, there's that thing that she mentioned. Come now, speak up. That's what free will is for. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides. If I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? <laughs> but things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You've made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? <laughs> Just, just don't sweat it, me. I'll go get it. <laughs> oh, enter the time menu. Okay, cool. So, enter the cathedral at night. So I've got to be outside. Okay, okay. Paimon. I mean, it is night time already, so. Right, Paimon menu, time. Wait until. Uh, night time. I mean, it's night time, I'm just gonna go back in. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. So you just stood there, like. I mean, I've only been five minutes outside, so. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Shh. I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Got to do a snack. Shh. Is it like a sneaky button? Shh. How do I crouch? Sneaky, sneaky. Snicky 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 Oh no, it's gonna see me Snicky snicky I'm not here, promise Jump over! No! Aww. Uh, how do I... Hmm. Where do I go? Do we 
getting a snack. Snicker, snicker. Bum, 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 bum. Ah! I'm not here. 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 Oh, oh, my heart. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Go, 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 go. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! It's right there. Oh, no, 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 Ah, and some of them. Okay. Do you guys move? No? Ah. We're just going back around to where I was. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Oh, there's a ladder. Where do you go? Huh, 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 huh. Okay. Come past, come past, come past. I love that it just doesn't look. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try again. Let's go! This might take a while. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get over there. How do I get over there? I need to. Okay. I love that I can just walk straight down. It's like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> See me? No, you're not. Shh. Doing a snack. I love it. I'm right here. Look, I'm right here. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? Don't look at me. Seriously? <laughs> okay. I'm just taking that. Did it. <laughs> oh, hang. Right into him, sure. <laughs> oh no! We're busted! Run! What? Follow me! Uh oh. Ah! Oh, 
Mất ô câu Nó mất rồi Master Diluc, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. <laughs> um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> let's save the paid performance for next time. I'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. I mean, yeah, a bard that doesn't want to perform. <laughs> ask who exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. The Knights of Sidonia. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm meant to go upstairs. Why have you left me here? Wait for me, I'm coming! Uh, Master D, look! Have you seen two thieves around? No. What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Master D, look? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar! Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves! Such a precious piece of cultural heritage! Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. <laughs> Believe they headed that way. Oh wow. Understood. Thanks. Thank you, Master D. Luke. Drop me home. <laughs> oh no, I set them off. Good guy. Where's where's what's his face gone? See I forgot his name again. Okay, let's go. Oh, downstairs, please, not upstairs. What, you just, you just sat at the bar? <laughs> Today I think I'll have a glass of... You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... <laughs> These games, it's always like, they look like kids but they're drinking and no one questions. So it's interesting that it's actually like, oh, you're just a kid, you shouldn't be drinking. <laughs> oh, you wanna ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. Two two bottles of wine, that's that's like a lot of wine. That's all you need really. <laughs> for the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the holy Lyo de Hamel, even <laughs> if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hot shot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the bard are close friends? Well, despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Mm. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show. Oh. 
What did I just witness? <laughs> this is confidential information. Why did you let me know? You asked. Why? Hmm. Perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master D. Luke? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Wait till the tavern is closed. Okie dokie. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. How do I? Ah! This time, please. Is it closed yet? <laughs> oh! 12 o'clock. My bad. Come on! Let the time go again, please. Thank you. I did think six was a bit early for a pub to close. <laughs> Let's go. You're oh. here. Yep. Hi. Wait. You're Jean. <laughs> well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right. Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. <laughs> to persuade our stubborn command... Wait. I can't think of any reason for Dvalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it, but as acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the storm terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. Hmm? We don't often get to work together after all. Way. Uh... Huh? <clears throat> oh. Well, that seems a bit awkward. Wow. This is really awkward. Oh, five months. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Where is a it? Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. <laughs> the conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh. Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! Too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the seven nations. Hmm. Outlander, ready to go? Sure, let's go. I don't know where we're going, but sure. <laughs> Everybody's gone. Jean Wait for just me. just said the Fatui are trying to take the Volan's power for the Cryo God. 
Yeah, you did. <laughs> I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of Anima? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh! Uh... Uh... Huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. That's my disguise. Here. Ta-da! <laughs> Barbara's here. Leave. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Xiangling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. My <laughs> <laughs> favorite place is the chicken. Amazing. Ah, okay. <laughs> that started way more abruptly than I expected. <laughs> Never mind then.
Hey. No. no! Don't eat me! Are you you're human? The entire floor's defenses have been broken. I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. How did you guys know the liar's here? The place it's being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me. Okay, bye. I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. You, you just worry about yourselves. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Hmm. Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Signora. The fact that the can run among across the seven nations like they do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Hi. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> yep. What? I I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I am a proud citizen of Snezhnaya. I will not falter. Okay. Uh oh, that is a big, big dude. Hi. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Never heard of that association before. <laughs> what are you lot doing here? That lies way too obvious. And just how do you plan to borrow it? <laughs> Think you can look down your The will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafro. Okay. Shall we try another room? There's one room left that 
Maybe the key must be in there. scurry out from. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. Got it. Finally, the liar is back in safe hands. Where did that guy go, though? He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs bards sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Next time, we'll see how the harp can save the dragon's life. Farewell!